this is what every e-commerce brand should now be doing to drive more traffic and profits from Google. We've had a crazy year in 2023, but we're in for a bigger ride in 2024 within e-commerce. So here's what I'd be doing um, if it was my e-commerce store in 2024. So Google is is no longer just 10 blue links. We've 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 well past that. We've you know we've come a long way with Google search and how users engage with the Google database in terms of video links, imagery. There's so many different ways now to drive a traffic to a brand. But one of the big things for me is these product listings here. So Google released this document, um, New Search Console Merchant Listing Report, Expanding Elig Eligibility with Product Structured Data. Now, this is another way to drive traffic because Google is pushing this more and more. I released a post about this months and months ago about Google transitioning into a category page. And we can see here, so this is actually the Google SERP. And we can see these side filters here, almost like just an e-commerce store where Google is, is challenging Amazon now and they want to push more traffic through product listings here. Obviously, Google's a business, so they're doing this because it's going to impact um, you know, how they make revenue, where they can brands can pay to obviously be featured within here. So you've almost got to see how you know what Google is doing for their their point of bit view as a business, but it's a it's a Great opportunity for brands. So, however, there's two different ways to look at it. So, there's um, product experiences available in search, where it's merchant listing experience, um, where you can get featured as one of these, and then it's more review style content, and you could be featured within a product snippet. So, it's as a brand, you know, we we can we can optimize for both. But the key thing is, brands want to be getting featured up here because. You know, we, we, we're past this now where it's just um, Google's 10 blue links, where it's just a search page. You know, we can look at YouTube Shorts, which is video. We'll look, we can look at these product listings. We can look at image search. Um, the, the, there's so many discover. And then we have our product page. Okay. And now, so all of these now are potential traffic drivers to our product page. And in 2024, these digital assets are, are, are what's going to drive a lot of revenue for your e-commerce store, as opposed to just trying to focus on 10 blue links, because there's so much opportunity for digital assets across the web to drive traffic. And it's, I think... 90% or more brands are still stuck in this mindset of of one one mode of driving traffic, i.e. through just the SERP here. You know, we want to be building monopoly across the web and optimizing for all these different sources is how we're going to build that monopoly and how we're going to drive traffic. So look out for this, guys. Google's release docs telling us, you can see it in Search Console, you can actually look at merchant listings and see what you're being clicked for, what you're getting impressions for. But it's something that every brand should be doing because it's going to drive, you know, it's it's it, it's solid potential and I can't scream mind it off. You early adopt this because there's so many brands not doing it. An early adopter, you'll optimize, you build authority, and if Google starts pushing your products, you will you will drive you you will sort of become that um, early first adopter for Google. And once Google trusts your brand there, you know, it's, it's harder for other brands to get featured there, you know, to knock you off that top peg. So hope this helps. Just look out for it. It's, it's growing. It's not brand new, but Google, as you know, months and months ago, I, I mentioned about Google transitioning to a category page and it's exactly what they're doing more in the US, but I'm seeing it in the UK as well. So have fun with that one, guys.